adjust that before we start? We are gathered this evening in the sight of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Kathy Pastelero and Jay Bailey in holy marriage. They come with Jay's family here and Kathy's family in the Philippines watching, and they come with the blessing of both families as they come into this sanctuary to give their hearts, their lives to each other. Marriage is a holy estate. It is honorable. It is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. It was at a wedding in Cana of Galilee that our Lord Jesus performed his very first miracle. And just as he was with those in that day at that wedding, so he is with us today in this place for this wedding. Let's pray together. Our Father, we love you. We stand amazed at your love for us. You are love. You loved us so much that you gave your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, so that through faith in him, we might have the promise of eternal life with you. Lord, tonight we lift Kathy and Jay to you. We thank you, Lord, through your grace that you have brought them to this place, to this time in their lives, as they commit themselves to one another. We do acknowledge that you are Emmanuel, God with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You are always there. And we know that you are here in this sacred place at this sacred time. So we ask your blessings upon this gathering, upon this service. It is not just a time for Kathy and Jay to be married, but a time, Lord, for you to be lifted up, to be worshipped, to be glorified in this place. We know that it is in you that we live, that we move, that we have our very being. And without you, we are nothing. Bless this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kathy, Jay, I ask you now in the presence of those gathered here to declare your intention to marry each other. And so first I'll ask you, Kathy, do you desire to have Jay as your husband to live together in holy marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. I do. Okay. And Jay, 
Do you desire to have Kathy as your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. As you gather here this evening to become husband and wife, you come to this place to start your life together, to start your family together. You both come from your own families of origin, but from this day forward, you will have your own family uh, that will be so important. I want to share just a couple of thoughts from the Bible. First of all, marriage is established by God. In Genesis chapter 2, it says, So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of a man. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. And so you come to this place today to become one flesh. You come because you love each other. There is a chapter in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 13, that is called the love chapter. And it talks about the importance of love in life. It says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, faith, hope, and love. And that's what I want to challenge you to build your marriage on. First of all, faith. There's a little poem that says this, doubt sees the obstacles, faith sees the way. Doubt sees the darkest night, faith sees the day. Doubt dreads to take a step, faith soars on high. Doubt questions who believes, faith answers I. The second is hope. Paul would write in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's our prayer, and that's my prayer for you as a couple, that you have that hope that brings joy and peace to your life together. And then finally, Paul says there is love. The Bible says God is love and that love is the greatest of all things. Without love, without God's love in our lives, we are nothing. But with God's love, all things are possible. You're building a life together. Poet Alfred Grant Walton wrote this poem, The World We Make. The world we make in which we live by what we gather and what we give by our daily deeds and the things we say, by what we keep and what we cast away. We make our world by the beauty we see in a skylark song or a lilac tree, in a butterfly's wing, in the pale moon's rise, and the wonder that lingers in midnight skies. We make our world by the life we lead, by the friends we have, the books we read, by the pity we show in the hour of care, by the loads we lift, and the love we share. We make our world by the goals we pursue, by the heights we seek and the higher view, by hopes and dreams that reach the sun, 
and the will to fight till the heights are won. What is this place in which we dwell, a hut or a palace, a heaven or a hell? We gather and scatter, we take and we give. We make our world, and there we live. Kathy, I'm going to take these flowers, and if you'll take Jay by the hand. And I want the two of you to exchange vows with one another. And Jay, I'm going to start with you, okay? If you'll just repeat after me. I, Jay, I, Jay take, you, Kathy, take you, Kathy, to be my wife, to, be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from, this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for, better, for, worse, for, richer, for, poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish as, long as, we both shall live. as long as we both shall live. All right, Kathy, as you look at Jay, I'm going to ask that you repeat after me. I, Kathy, I, Kathy take you, Jay, take you, Jay to, be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward for, better, for, worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health to, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Okay. Now, I think you guys have rings. Is that right? Yeah. All right, so let me hold that one up. Kathy, if you will put the ring on Jay's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Jay, if you would place the ring on Kathy's finger. All right, and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father. Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Let's pray together. Father, as Jay and Kathy stand here at this altar, hand in hand, having exchanged their vows with each other, exchanging rings to seal those vows, Lord, we pray that you bless them as they go forth from this place today. As husband and wife, bless their family. Lord, use them in the days ahead. I pray that their marriage, their family, would be based on faith in Jesus Christ, that they would know faith, hope, and love in their lives, that they would have joy and peace as they live for you and with you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Inasmuch as Jay and Kathy have exchanged their vows, held hands, united hearts, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife, and what God has joined together may no one put asunder. Jay, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> and I present to you Mr. and Mrs. J. Bailey. Here's your flowers. <laughs>
Very good.